Hey guys, so this is my first winter, real winter weather trip to the outhouse. Hi, I'm going out <laughs> It's winter. snowing. I think you might want to wait. Yeah, I'll go. How are we both going to go at the same time? There's two bodies in there. At least, like with snow, with snow, it doesn't like absorb right in. It just kind of goes off a bit. And this is why if you're uh, watching off grid, you might want to follow yeah, off grid with off you might want to follow off grid with Doug and Stacy more than me. Hey, Kaya, can you put his roll his shelter closer to him? Mm -hmm. um, it's because they have a composting toilet, whereas we have a porta potty. They fired it up. Horrible. Wretched cold. Today, rainy morning. I have never met an airport that's gonna play Stone Sour. Since I didn't sleep well last night, um, being too excited about seeing Julie and the girls, at least I can catch a little bit of a nap. Uh, probably at least a couple hours, so that's kind of nice. They gave me a one row upgrade to be able to pop the hatch for somebody should I need to. Um, means I get quite a bit of leg room. Okay, so we are on our way to go drop off kids at Grandma and Grandpa. As you can see, I have a Komodo dragon and a tiger in the car with me. Yeah, the weather is definitely different. 88 degrees down there and it's going to be 50. Chilly. We are waiting for John to get into the airport. And the girls are going to stay here with Grandma and Grandpa in case his plane gets delayed and they need to sleep. So they are scrubbed and pajamaed. So here we are, five hours later. Gate 23, <laughs> but it's only an hour long flight from Salt Lake, so that's always nice. Here we go. I have John's coat because he's been freeze to death here, having been in Oklahoma for eight weeks so really thick down coat and the funny thing is is we only have one gate at our airport there's like not a whole bunch of gates to go to there's just one arrival spot and so we're just very straightforward pretty excited i think i'm about 10 minutes early but he might already be here Making daddy, we are going to finish out a coat rack. You having fun yet? I am just having loads of fun. Enjoying the scenery, it's amazing scenery. The mountains are beautiful, so. kind of flat out there in Oklahoma, huh? Wow, 
One thing that I'm a little concerned about, and I'll try and show it to you guys, is that with these chairs that we like so much, handle it all. So I think I need to bring in a, like a bumper system for like two levels, like maybe plaster it from here up, but have um, wood from here down so that they can still lean it up against the wall and it's not rubbing paint and plaster off. Okay, so with plaster, once you have it mixed, you need to work fast because it's going to harden really fast. And um, I'm going to just get started. Always wear gloves. I The first few times I used this stuff, I didn't wear gloves and I ended up getting blisters on my hands, so be careful. I had to go add some more. It just was not thick enough. Problem with that is now it's going to be most likely too thick. So this is definitely a learning experience. I've never done plaster before. But everything here is pretty much a learning experience. I've never done it before, so I'm just learning as I go. And it looks like if you put new plaster on old plaster, it kind of ruins the old plaster. So word to the wise. So today John and I, actually John did most of it. I helped hold a little bit, but he cut out these kind of uh, blue pine. They call it blue pine. It's been beetle killed. And so we have some of that. Everything came from Josh from Essential Mountain Homestead, all the wood. And I've been plastering today. So as the non-off-grid man mm. who thinks that your wife is lovely and crazy. Mm. Is that accurate? <laughs> a little of both. So John's first gift to me when we started dating was a cordless drill and he should have been warned by the fact that I was so excited because mm. I live for projects, don't I? Uh -huh. And tools and that kind of thing. Uh -huh. So he is eternally patient with my projects as long as they're not too expensive. And this has been an ex not the shed itself was expensive. The actual putting things in has not been expensive because we've bartered so much. Correct. Right? Yes. So you've been in Oklahoma for about eight weeks. Yes. Lots of really nice warm weather. Mm -hmm. And come back here, and there's <laughs> a foot and a half of snow. But well, there wasn't that much. Yes, it was like was the, eight inches. The, yes. In some spots, as not I'm here. As I'm driving up, like ten minutes before, uh, I see my darling wife, and the snow is about knee high off the side of the road. Yeah, but that's because it had off. been plowed. Okay, I gotta right. go turn that down. He wanted to remember why he doesn't want to live in Idaho. It's because it's really cold. It's already October and we've had lots of snow. Did you want to Beat. give, did you want to actually talk about what you're feeling instead of me telling what you're feeling? Oh, I don't know. You're better on the camera. I don't know. I left Tulsa. It was 80 something degrees on its way to 90 for a high. And then I come in here and it's a low of 19 that night. So super excited. Yes. I don't so know. I'm hoping to get some banisters in and get everything that is inexpensive or free finished before we leave. We're still planning on the 1st of November. I think the one thing we won't have finished is the floors. Correct. Which will be a fun project for this next summer or spring because yeah. honestly we're, we're still arguing over what floors to get. And Because if we, if we put down ceramic tile or anything like that, then anytime we try to move the house, all of it will crack. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, warp it. that's what I would like because I think it would be super easy to clean and easy to. It would be, but it would with, be cold. It would be really cold in your feet. The house I lived in had. Company. Hang on, we got company. 